Hello, smart investors. My name is Gabriel Jarson. I'm from beautiful Paris, France. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the startup called Keymailer, raising money currently on Cedars. Before we start, I'd like to extend the invitation to you to subscribe to my channel with the subscribe button right below myself, right below the video, the big red button, to subscribe to my channel to get all my latest videos as soon as I publish them, and to join the community of the Start Investors. Here we go. So here I am on the Cedars website. I'm looking at the Keymailer page. We're going to go through it together and we are going to use my investment criteria that I have right here. So before we start, of course, let me remind you, this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and please do your own research before you invest. Now, uh, regarding my investment criteria, pl please, if you do not know about them, if you haven't read what they mean, what those words mean to me, please, before watching this video, download them in the description below. There's a link, it says My Investment Criteria, you can download them for free. And once you've read them, then you can come back and watch the video and actually understand what I mean, all right? So uh, there are eight investment criteria here that I'm going to go through. And I am on the Kimmeler page, so I have not studied the, 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 the company, the offer, in details, in greater details. I want to put myself in the shoes of someone discovering the project. So this is what I'm doing right now. I've only watched the short intro video, the four minute video here, just to get a grasp of what it's about. And also I'm not gonna watch the video right now with you during the video. So that's what I did before, but I haven't read through most of it. And I'm going to try to find, my, to find the answer to all those criteria while going through the page at the same speed that you or someone else discovering the project would. So basically, Keymailer is a marketplace for influencer, for uh, video games influencers and for the uh, marketing uh, studios, for the marketing agencies that want to reach viewers through those, through those influencers. So basically, Keymailer is in the middle of the Twitch channels, of the YouTube channels of video games and the advertisers that want to get promotions offers to the public and they're going to meet on that platform. So uh, I've been on the uh, website here Kimelo.co, so promote your games to an audience of millions. Uh, actually, millions is an understatement because they've reached actually 1.3 billion viewers through all, the, uh, all of their campaigns, so that's a pretty great uh, achievement. Congratulations, guys. And this is what they do. So there's 4,000 publishers, there's 35 game keys delivered securely to content creators every month, so they actually are able to try new games. There's 5 million videos and 1.1 billion reach through those platforms, through Kimmeler. So this is pretty much how it works. So once you set up uh, 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 the uh, uh, YouTube platform or the Twitch influencer is gonna request a game key from you. So to try the game for free, then you can actually check their credentials and you have to check, you don't have, I mean, the influencer doesn't have to resend you everything because actually they have a verified profile on the platform. And then if you, if you'd like it, you can just send them the, the game, they'll make a video, they'll send it to you, you can review it and that's it. Pretty straightforward. So let's try to see all those criteria here. So first of all, of course, we're going to have scalability. Yes, because it's a marketplace. So basically it's a single website and the website is existing. As you can see, it's right there. So now whether they have 10 times more uh, games that are given for free, 10 times more influencers, their costs are not going to increase. So it's the kind of startups that I like. It's the typical tech startup that we see today. They can increase revenue without increasing cost. So there's a good scalability, all right? Let's talk about the market. It's very easy. The market of influence, the market of the video games are both in huge, huge growth. So combining those two, the influencers in the video game sector, it's a huge, huge plus. It's a huge, huge, huge yes for the market here. Uh, it is a, a great market to get into. Um, what else do we have? So we're going to talk about the unfair advantage, about the team. Uh, of course, want to make sure I read about monetization and margins because uh, Keymailer said in the video that they want now to focus on the business model. So that is something that I'm kind of more worried about. M maybe they do not have a business model so far. Let me check here. So the convertible, um, I'll come back to that. It's pretty interesting. 
So this is what they do. Uh, explain, it's explained better in the video. That of course I invite you to watch it. So the MVP was released in 2015. In 2016 they had 10,000 channels. Then in 17 they had 330 million aggregate audience. Nintendo Switch. They're tracking VR ownership. They added YouTube. In December 2017 they have they had half a million channels. And uh, um, now they. In October 2018, they bro broke the 1 billion barrier, all right? So let's see. I don't see anything about the money. And of course, it is the most important. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Monetization strategy. This market offers a virtual circle, lots of offers. We believe that the first platform with circle and massive available offers will actually the majority. So they want to be the biggest ones immediately, and it's got to be free for now. So to achieve critical mass, we've been focusing on user acquisition, a balance between user growth and revenue growth. Our three current revenue streams are freemium campaigns management software with essential features, free and additional features chargeable, fixed price database access allowing marketers to search and contact channels to make offers, fixed price on-site adverts to drive discovery and interest. So they do know how to make money. And that's a, a relief already and a first good sign. They have not been doing this entirely for free. That would be, in my opinion, uh, a mistake or a risk. So they do know how to make money. Um, and I'm guessing that those uh, uh, margins are 100% because it basically they do have the database and they do have the website to do advertising. So they just have to put the advertising on there. They do just have to open the, the, the database. So this is probably 100% margin. And the premium campaign management software uh, probably is also good margins there. So I'm guessing the margins are not the problem. The margins are good. Uh, this, th those, of course, are... Uh, 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 broad criteria that can apply to any business, so this is not the problem. I'm guessing that the actually the the, the, the amount that they're that they're selling it for is probably the problem because that's probably not very expensive for the customer and not generating a lot of revenue for Keymailer. I am guessing. I'm not sure. They haven't said uh, how much they made so far, and of course that is kind of typical. But I'm pretty sure someone asked them here, so. Questions, do do do. Uh, do, 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 do. So there's competition, move it, okay. So this do, this does not talk about the uh, tuk 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 current expense, good luck, case of new series, user engagement, and more. Oh, how high were your revenues in 2019 so far? So that's pretty good, but they say we're not sharing financials in open discussion and series. What I can say is we continue to increase run rate compared to the figure showing in the financials. So, and there is financials here. So let's see for the documents. Did I ask for them? No. So let me ask for the financials and say very interested. Let's see if they answer quickly. All right, let me go to the other uh, things. So let's talk about the team. Team is Jamie. Uh, he's full-time, full-time, so the COO and the CEO are full-time. Let's go see their LinkedIn profile to see what they did before. The director and the advisor. So there's no... Uh, two, 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 two. So first of all, this is kind of a problem for me. He owns 24% of the company, but he's actually part-time. So why is Mark Turpin not full-time on that? I do not get it. Uh, uh, the fact that an, an advisor gets only 6% makes sense, but Mark makes less sense. And it's not here discussed in the uh, two, 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 in the questions. So that is kind of an issue for me, I guess. So let's see Jamie. So Jamie that we see in the video, he's the CEO, he's in Bath. And he's been doing this for three years. Before he was the director of a Event Hello. Uh, still today, huh? so that's kind of, well, the website says he's going to go full-time after the raise, so it makes sense. Um, he was a director at Green.TV, a TV channel, uh, so he knows uh, something about media, about monetization, about influence. He was a lecturer in philosophy of law at the Workload University of Economics, and he was CEO of SendGuard, and he exited after 15 years. Wow, congratulations. That's pretty cool. So, so far, so good. Jamie is a serious uh, good profile to be the CEO. Let's go for James. What about James? He's in the same place and he does not have uh, uh, entrepreneurship previous experience, but he worked in the game industry, SCI Games, Activision. Oh shit, sorry. My bad. Activision, uh, OnLive, 
Uh, let's see what on live is. Maybe it is also about video games, but in any case, he does have an experience in video games. So there is a good oh Mont Mountain View, California. Okay, pretty cool. Do 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 building the future of cloud computing. Okay, gaming. Yeah. So it's about gaming. It's all about gaming. So on live is a cloud g computing service. Pretty cool, by the way. So he has experience in video games. Jamie has experience in media and together they make a very good team but who's the cto who's the dev uh, let's see about mark turpin he's the ceo at the yogcast and he's a director at keymailer helping to connect game developers and publishers with influencers across youtube uh okay so i don't know maybe 60 plus over a few minutes every day wow okay so maybe he's f a big full-time on the yogcast and he's helping them to expand on uh, expand on the influencers. That would make sense. I don't never heard of Yogcast, but apparently it might look that it is big. Uh, let's see what we have. Do, do, do. YouTube channel, let's go for the first one. How many millions, billions and billions. Oh yeah, seven, wow, okay, seven million subscriber. That's pretty big, all right. Just for one channel, huh? oh my God. I guess I spoke too quickly. This guy is huge, and that is why probably he's not full time. So yeah, two millions here. <laughs> That's crazy. And this one has 1.8 million. Oh my God, OMG! And what he does is I don't know Minecraft. Okay, fine, cool. So no CTO. Uh, That's kind of a problem. Who's maintaining and developing the platform? I do not know. CEO, COO. <laughs> let's see about the website but it's only kind of okay there's no website it's only kind of an agency I guess but eh, kind of a problem so uh, let me ask the question and you can actually uh, go here in the discussion see the uh, answer uh, later on so no CTO full-time uh, in the team who uh, develops the website and you can connect here on Cedars and uh, get the answer that they're going to post here. All right. So except for the CTO, which is kind of a big deal, but I'm going to give them a green point, a good grade here on the team because the, pre the, the, the co-founders are pretty big. And there's this guy, Mark, with his huge, huge channels. He's a huge influencer, too. So, I mean, the team looks fairly strong. Uh, I'm yeah, sad to see that there's no CTO in there, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Um, what else? All right, let's go for the uh, traction. Of course, I'm going to get it, give it a good grade here. All right, let's go for the un um, unfair advantage. So the unfair advantage is that they actually already do have, uh, I don't know, half a million channels signed. So that's pretty big. So with the unfair advantage, I'm trying to answer the question. If you and I, uh, you call me after the video, you say, hey, Gabriel, I love your video. I want to do the same thing as Kimel or let's create a company together because I love this and I want to be their competitor. The, the question I'm trying to answer is, will it be easier for us or will it be easier for them? And I guess the answer is it will be easier for them right now because they, have, they already have half a million channel signed up which is huge and it would be a huge huge thing for us to catch up uh, on first of all and second of all they already have over a billion views on all of those channels so they are, it's first mover advantage pretty much but it's it's pretty substantial first of all and second of all the partnership with mark with his huge influence the fact that jamie has a huge experience and sold his first company uh, for me both all of those things are uh, unfair advantages so there's no ip there's no uh, patents or stuff like that, but still it's pretty good and I will give them a green uh, Mark here a green, a green dot. All right on to valuation So valuation as you saw here, it's a convertible uh, uh, Operation so that means that you do not, do not know the valuation right now You will you will get your equity later on at the at the later valuation with a 20% discount so as you probably know, this is fairly common now in startups and it's pretty good because it both protects the interest of Kim Miller and the interest of us as an investor. So I like that very much. It means, it means that whatever the valuation later on, you'll actually get a good deal with a discount for having invested earlier. So that's pretty good. Um, and let's see about the convertible details. So the valuation cap is 5 million pounds. 
uh, if there is a an equity fundraise of two hundred and fifty thousand pounds or more, but if there is no equity fundraising in the long stop date, which should be twelve months from the date the deferred subscription agreement is signed, so one year later, or a winding up conversion of the long stop date on a winding up will occur at the share price of fifty cent equivalent to a premium valuation of one billion, or if lower the price per share issued after the date of the different subscription share. So I'm kind of uh, uh, baffled with this number here. It's either 5 million pounds, which is good, or, oh, sorry, 1 million pounds. Oh, yeah, that's the zero here. So so either it's a 5 million pounds if they raise with a 20% discount, if they raise 250 pounds or, or more. If not, if they don't raise in the next 12 months, it's actually 1.1 1, 1. 1 million. Pounds. Am I reading that correctly? Yes, my bad. I was like, billion? That's not possible. All right. So if there is a change of control or IPO, so if the company gets sold or it, if there is an, an IPO before, it's also 5 million plus a discount. So a discount of 20% is 4 million. And uh, that is, uh, I guess, a good valuation for a company with that big of a reach. Of course, I would love to be more precise to see the money that they made recently but let me refresh that yeah they haven't given it to me already so that is my mistake i will do this before the next video of course next time i do video on series i will request the documents before but that being said a four million valuation or it could actually be a one million valuation if they don't raise in the next year so this means that first of all they're going to have a huge incentive to do raise in the next year so this means that it's going to uh, give them more money and, and uh, uh, give more visibility uh, to the company and give them more money to actually grow faster. And we're going to get a 20% discount. So it's going to be actually a $4 million valuation on a company worth at least five or more. All right. So uh, that is uh, pretty good. And uh, that's a good valuation for, for me. And the margins, as, we, as I said, are most probably... 20%, of course, the valuation has to be put in perspective with the documents here. So they are personal. I invite you to request them and access them. And with that, put the valuation in perspective to the revenue. I do have the intuition that the revenue is not very high because they don't put the focus on the revenue in the pitch, first of all. Second of all, they say that they explore different things, the freemium, the, 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 the advertisements, and that's not typical, something that earns a lot of money. And... Third of all, they don't even answer the revenue in the questions. So that, in my opinion, means that the revenue is not very high. So if it's extremely low, close to zero, maybe it means that the valuation is a little high. But uh, I'm also taking into consideration the 1.3 billion views achieved. And that has to mean something. And that is why I'm uh, giving it a good grade for valuation. So all in all, only green points here. Uh, I have some... Uh, hesitations here on the margins, on the valuation, and on the team because there's no CTO. So those would be uh, uh, the points that I would maybe put a both green and red point. But uh, uh, apart from that, it's only green. Congratulations to Kimeller. Of course, if you do want to know if I am investing in Kimeller, you are more more than welcome to join my private investment club. Uh, in that private investment club, I will share with you all my investment decisions on websites like Cedars and others. Then you will actually know where I invest my money, where I do feel like there is a good opportunity. And you will be able, if you want, to imitate my investments. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Please give me your opinion in the description of about Kim Miller. Tell me which points you agree with, which points you don't agree with. Uh, tell me anything you, you like and um, that's it. Please consider subscribing to the video. If you like the video, please like it and I will see you soon for a next video. Bye everyone.